The year 2020 may now be behind us, but we aren't done with the 2020 election just yet. The newly elected Congress is waiting to be sworn in and two runoff elections in Georgia are coming up that will determine control of the Senate, while President-elect Joe Biden's Electoral College victory still has to be certified by Congress. Biden also still has a few cabinet picks to announce, including his nominee for Attorney General, as he plans for his inauguration. Here are the upcoming dates to watch, be sure to refresh this page often to get the latest information on the transition. Several more Republican senators, including Texas Senator Ted Cruz, announced Saturday that they will join Senator Josh Hawley, Armo, and object to the certification of the 2020 election results. Citing, unprecedented allegations of voter fraud, and, voting irregularities, but not specific evidence, the senators planning to join Hawley's objection said in a joint statement that they, intend to vote on January 6 to reject the electors from disputed states as not, regularly given, and, lawfully certified, the statutory requisite, unless and until, the completion of an, emergency 10-day audit, is completed. Republican sends. Ron Johnson of Wisconsin, James Lankford of Oklahoma, Steve Daines of Montana, John Kennedy of Louisiana, Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee and Mike Braun of Indiana joined Cruz in signing the joint statement. The statement also named four newly elected senators, who will be sworn in Sunday, who plan to join the objection Wednesday, sends elect Cynthia Lummis of Wyoming, Roger Marshall of Kansas, Bill Hagerty of Tennessee and Tommy Tuberville of Alabama. State Senator Ben Chafin Jr. died Friday after contracting the coronavirus, his office announced in a statement. State Senator Augustus Denton Ben Chafin Jr., a native son of Russell County located in southwest Virginia, passed away on January 1, 2021 from COVID-19 complications, the news release from his office stated. Chafin, 60, was treated in Richmond at the VCU Medical Center for two weeks before his death. Virginia Governor Ralph Northam ordered the state flag to be immediately lowered over the Capitol in Richmond. With the passing of Senator Ben Chafin, Southwest Virginia has lost a strong advocate, and we have all lost a good man, Northam said in a statement. This is a sad news to begin a new year with the loss of a kind and gracious man. May we all recommit to taking extra steps to care for one another. Chafin, a Republican, was elected to the Virginia House of Delegates in 2013 before being elected to the state Senate the following year. He served to ensure that his region and community, and the people he loved, would never be forgotten, state Senate Republicans said in a statement. Days before Chafin's death, Rep. Elect Luke Letlow, Arla, also died after contracting the virus. LSU Health Shreveport Chancellor G.E.